Hi guys, this is Brandy, and it's five days post-op of um, anterior um, this replacement of uh, my C4-5 and C5-6. Um, I wanted to recap the past few days. Um, day one was Thursday after I woke up from surgery. It was pretty hard managing pain that day. Thursday and part of Friday was hard managing pain. Um, and it was like a light switch, um, kind of, almost in a way. Um, Saturday was much better. Although, of course, I was really, really sore, but it was much better Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, much better. Um, I think the worst part is waking up quite sore, um, which is similar to how it was prior to surgery, but worse. Um, but you have to realize I just had surgery, and there's all these muscles and nerves affected, and he had to cut out, or ground down bone spurs, um, shaved down bone spurs, and there were calcium deposits, and um, so as to be expected, really, um, of course, there's going to be a good bit of soreness, um, but, you know, every day seems to get just a little better every day, so today's a little better than it was yesterday. Um, I was able to walk. Walking is a really comfortable. It's really comfortable to walk. It's hard to get comfortable in bed, but it actually feels nice to walk. Like it's no soreness really while walking at all. Um, so um, the most uncomfortable part is kind of like getting comfortable in bed and getting up out of bed because and, and bending. Um, I can't really bend. Um, I could but it's painful so I squat and I'm like Ugh. you know so um, which is very normal so after the surgery so um, I could squat um, it's kind of painful a little bit you could feel like some pressure like if I go forwards some you could feel some pressure and that's all from the surgery where they manipulated everything um, but in all honesty it's not that bad um, like I said, Thursday, um, I woke up from surgery and it was hard to manage pain. I guess I didn't expect to be in that much pain, um, when I woke up. Um, so it was kind of hard to manage the pain Thursday and then, um, a little bit Friday too. Um, um, and then Saturday has been better, and Sunday has been better, and Monday has been better, and now it's Tuesday. Um, but like I said, I walked for over an hour yesterday and over an hour today, and my energy's fine, really. Um, I'm so it, it's what's funny is Thursday it's really hard managing pain. Friday hard managing pain, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday I've been taking a half of a Percocet three times a day and a muscle relaxer and some of the gabapentin for the nerves, so low dose gabapentin and um, so not bad at all. But the first day I was in the hospital Thursday and I stayed overnight. And Thursday they were giving me a good bit of medicine. So it was hard to manage the pain. So they told me to take while I'm home Percocet every four to six hours as needed. I only need half about every eight hours or six to eight hours. So um, usually the worst parts is the morning. So in the morning I feel like really very very sore which I felt very sore every morning actually prior to um, surgery I woke up really sore mainly in the shoulders um, kind of feel like I've been hit by a truck in the morning um, now but after I'm up for a while it just a few hours or so or an hour or two it really eases and I'm able to manage it um, the, the best times for me seems to be like maybe 11 to like 4, I don't know, somewhere in that range. Uh, I'm doing really well. Um, um, 
let's see, besides pain in my neck and shoulders, just mainly soreness, there's this pain here, but it's not bad. I didn't even notice it when I woke up. There was really no, not much of a sore throat um, at all. Um, very mild because there was so much going on all over. You really don't really notice that. Um, I didn't notice it until like yesterday. So, um, and it feels kind of lumpy. And if I'm laying on my side, I feel like it's pulling. Like, like my scar is going to pull open. Like it's stretching. And it's dry. And it's just like there's no elasticity. And it's just going to pull open. So laying on my side is kind of weird. Um, and I actually couldn't really lay on my side and get comfortable until yesterday. And I felt like I was kind of getting comfortable on my side until I felt like a pulling here. And um, I noticed it was actually time for my pain medicine anyway, so that kind of helped. So, um, besides some stiffness in, in my shoulders um, right now, I mainly have some soreness and stiffness in my neck and shoulders. And this, like, feeling here that's not too bad. If I swallow, it kind of feels, it's not like, it's not sore, it's more lumpy like kind of swollen or a little lumpy very mild um not bad at all um yesterday it was more noticeable actually it was annoying yesterday actually really quite annoying today it's not annoying at all it's just there you don't really notice it until you swallow you'll notice it oh, it's kind of swollen you know but it's it's actually not bad and when i woke up from surgery i didn't notice that i was like i ate solid meals never had a problem eating solid food i was eating solid food like four or five hours after surgery um so that was something i was like man my sore throat is not bad at all it's very mild it's all this going on in my neck and shoulders and wrapping around here and there and just felt like i was kind of hit by a train um and like I was trying to move my neck left and right and I was like man I was like this is a horrible case of whiplash and and just what did they do to me you know when I woke up I was like holy cow and um and I've had surgery a lot it was a, one of the first times I've ever actually got dizzy when I stood up and um the first first or second time and after that it went away so um it's not bad at all. Like I said, Thursday was just a little bit more than I really wanted to deal with. Friday, part of Friday was too. And I, it's crazy because Saturday was van, pretty fantastic. I mean, besides really some, a lot of soreness. Um, very manageable. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Soreness, but manageable. Soreness, but manageable. And a little bit of this I don't even notice until I swallow and then I notice it but if I don't swallow don't notice anything or if I'm laying on my side and I'll lay on it wrong it kind of feels like it's pulling but otherwise I'm just pretty great um, really don't have much else to say um, um, I'm it's going along smoothly. I feel just a little better every day. Um, I feel, you know, pretty good. Um, one thing that bo bothers me is just waking up so sore, and then I realize I have to take a muscle relaxer, and I have to take a have a pain pill. I guess I'm looking forward to the day I wake up, and I'm like, nothing. You know, I'm a little sore, but nothing, you know. I don't need anything and i'm good to go so like i woke up this morning i was like just my oh god and mike was like are you okay i was like yeah i'm just I just felt like i had surgery and i'm beat up and um sucks and then it's crazy because i'll take my medicine and i may not eat 30 minutes an hour later i just like a half a percocet does it for me it helps that much and my muscle relaxer and um Look, uh, gabapentin, which I, I, I take, I don't need very much. I'll actually, I, they give me 800 milligrams, and every since they've given me 800 milligrams, I'll usually cut it into third, like thirds. 
So I'll take like a third of a gabapentin and a muscle relaxer. The muscle relaxer really don't do much anyway. Um, I really think it's half the, the half a Percocet. It really helps me the most. Prior to surgery, I wasn't taking anything but a half a gabapentin in the morning. Um, now I'm taking like a third in the morning. Um, but I'm also taking muscle relaxer with it. So, um, so I really do believe it's the half of a Percocet, five milligram Percocet that I'm taking. I'm pretty sure if I took the whole Percocet in the morning, like I'm supposed to take it every four to six hours, I'd probably be really good, but I'd be really groggy. So, um, you know, I don't want to be really groggy or anything like that. Um, I haven't really, like it, it is sore to put my hands up like this in my shoulder muscles. It's sore to put my hands up. So it's a little sore. Like right in my shoulders um, on and off through the day I get some st tingling burning um, it, it, it'll come and go so it's not continuous um, of course I had that prior to surgery it's just a, you know it just takes time to heal at this point I mean I couldn't um, really say anything bad about the surgery at all um, I have a pretty good pain tolerance um, I think um, so I don't, I don't think it's bad at all um, my, my neck is, and shoulders are getting a little stiff right now, so I'm probably going to go and prop up on some ice when I get done here because they're starting to get like annoying to me, stiff a little bit. But I mean, I walked. I walked over an hour. Walking seems to be better than sitting because I kind of hunch. I'm trying to make myself sit up straight, and I'll, I'll get sore, so I can't sit up straight. Um, so I'm, I've got to learn good technique in my... You know, I've been immobile for so long. I've been in pain, agonizing pain for so long. Um, probably two or three years. And it may not seem like a long time, especially compared to other people. But there were, the last six months, I couldn't get it to go away for nothing. It was continuously. Um, at first, it would come and go and come and go. It was like a mind game. I played just mind games. And then over the past six months, it wouldn't come and go. So I was very much looking forward to surgery, very much nervous like anybody would be, but I've had a lot of surgeries, but I was still nervous about this one in particular. But I was really looking forward to surgery and also nervous too. Um, um, nothing I did not expect, uh, actually Thursday, I, didn't, I guess I didn't expect just all of the soreness as much as it was. I expected soreness, but not as much as it was. Um, very hard to manage the pain that day. Um, there were a few times I, te I teared up, um, but um, absolutely. You know, that being said, I didn't really notice a sore throat. I was eating solids. Just it was so much pain in the back and the neck and everywhere. I didn't notice no sore throat and no scar pain at all. It wasn't. And I read another review just the other day, and she said the same thing. She didn't notice it until she was about three, four, or five days post-op. And I thought that was kind of cool because that's me. I just started noticing it like yesterday, and it's not really a sore throat. I actually, I had a sore throat when I first woke up, but it was very mild. Now I have no sore throat. It's just this lump here. So it's like I swallow and I notice it. I don't really notice it unless I swallow, or in the morning I notice it's extra lumpy before I take my pain medicine. I'm like, uh, it's extra. Kind of really really lumpy like I like a big old lump in my throat just a, but uh, then after I take the half a pain medicine I don't notice it until um, at all really most of the day um, unless I um, go to a lay down and I go and lay down on my side and I'll start feeling it's not really you know, some lumpiness on the inside and some pulling on my scar will feel like it's pulling like there's no elasticity and it's pulling so I'll roll from my side back to my back and it's hard to get comfortable laying down um, um, so that's kind of sucky but um, so um, but that's gonna get better I definitely gonna get better I'm noticing improvement every day I'll definitely at this point recommend the surgery especially if you lived with such pain that you're just tired of it tired tired of suffering go through with it because you really have nothing to lose whether you get better um, the doctor didn't say, said, he, you know, you, he hasn't seen anyone get worse from the surgery. Um, he's seen 90 plus percent get better. 
there are some people that stay the same, but that's very rare. Most people do get better. Some people don't get fully better, but a lot of people do get fully better. Most get fully better, um, but it can take longer than people expect. Um, you gotta take it easy. Um, spine surgery is kind of a slower progress than people would expect sometimes. So, um, but I'm gonna go and I will update in a few more days. Thank you for watching.